What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add a container box on Wix.com when you're editing your website. So here I am in my website and I have a blank space here. So if I wanted to add a container, I'd come over here to the left um, to this plus sign and click add. And then you can see if I go down to box, there's a bunch of boxes. I have a theme to my website, so I have four boxes here that fit my theme. But then also I have just a bunch of boxes um, that don't fit my theme that are just for whatever. Um, so you can see all the different styles. Uh, I got 50% off sale there. Um, like a video type or like a music one there. Um, and there's just a bunch of different styles. So if I go back to the top, I'm gonna click this first one. And you can see when I click it, it'll just add it here to that empty space that I'm working in. And of course I can adjust the size um, in the corner like so by clicking. And I can go to the side, click and adjust the, the width. And then I can also adjust the height with the top or bottom. Um, so I'm gonna just drag it around here, wait for that pink line to show up and center it. And um, if I come here to this paintbrush, if when I hover over it, it'll say design. If I click that, I can edit this box. Um, so you can see I can choose another box, and these are all the boxes I just showed you. I can select a different one, but if I come down here to customize design, click that, I can just customize this one and do whatever I want. So you can see there is a bunch of different styles at the top here. I can click the arrow and keep scrolling and look at more, but I'm going to leave it as this one. You can see I have four different options here. Um, so the fill, color, and opacity, if I click that, you can see I can change the opacity so if I bring it down the more it blends in with my background so if I go about 50% it'll be 50% the background and 50% whatever color I have selected which is like a black and then if I click here I can change whatever the color is so right now it is a black but I can change it to like a blue or like a light blue um, maybe a dark blue like that and again change the opacity if I come down here I can change the border so right now it's a hundred percent border and like a dark blue but there's no width to it so it's not actually there so if I increase this you can see it starts to add a width um, but it, say if I want rounded corners I can come here to the corners and maybe type um, let me highlight that and type 25 if I hit enter it'll do that to all the corners if I come to the middle click that chain you can see it breaks it and then I could change one corner at a time so if I want this one to be a little more extreme I could change that to 50 um, or maybe zero you'll be able to see that a little better so that one is still a corner and then these others are rounded and I then I could change them individually this last setting then is shadow and if I click that to enable it it'll enable a shadow and if I change the angle, maybe go about 35 degrees-ish. Yeah, 38 works. I can increase the distance. You can see that just brings that shadow further away from the box. Um, I can put that at like six. Increase the size, and maybe like three. Increase the blur so it's less um, boxy, more shadowy, and then decrease the opacity maybe so you don't see it as much maybe 22 percent and there I have a box with a sharp corner with rounded corners on the other three sides and a slight drop shadow now if I was to add some more content or if I had more contacts so uh, maybe I had social let me click this so maybe I have these um, social media links. If I were to want them to be in this box at all times, I can click and drag and bring them into the box. And you'll notice at the top it says attach to box. So when I drop that, these are now attached to this box. So if I select the box and start moving it, you can see the social media buttons follow me because they're now linked with that box. So anything you drag in will be attached. And then if I don't want that, I can just drag it out and it'll be gone and now the box is by itself. But that's boxes and wicks guys, hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.